in the Ralph Latham Memorial. Ladies and gentlemen, it is the Dixie Chopper. Feel the thunder at Florence, y'all. Here we go. What a battle for second early on. They're three and four wide down the back straightaway. Hughes in the white and blue 11. The black 11 are ice. Here comes the Valvoli number one of O'Neill. Digging hard on the bottom and Hudson O'Neill on the bottom. He'll go to third. Two laps in the books down the back straightaway. Again, it'll be a Delaware double final restart if we have any Gorsuch performance cautions. Hudson O'Neill digging on the bottom. Max Blair, Brandon Overton. We head to Illinois next weekend, but all eyes here in the state of Kentucky down the back straightaway. Out at turn four, Jonathan Davenport maintains the lead in car number 49 for the books. Hudson O'Neill is second. Third place from Spencer Hughes. Overton is fourth. Fifth is Max Blair. Spencer Hughes got a good hot rod tonight. Overton working the bottom. The top two in the points on the bottom there. O'Neill and Overton Blair in that fifth spot at the line. Five to get five laps in the books. Jonathan Davenport got the lead right at that racing Ferrero start zone. You see the double box as Overton works the bottom of Spencer Hughes. Hughes' cars work well up top tonight. Overton on the bottom. They're side to side of the line. Give that spot to use. Overton runs in fourth. Blair is fifth, and it's Thornton, Pierce. Josh Rice is back to eighth. Owens is ninth. Devin Moran runs in tenth. Jimmy Owens trying to make some headway. Had a power steering issue last night. Knocked him out of the race at Ponderosa as Overton goes around Hughes. Seven laps in the record books here tonight at Florence for $15,000. It's Davenport, O'Neill, Overton, Hughes, and Bobby Pierce, your top five, as we work on lap number eight. So the two drivers that won the last two, Sunoco, North, South, whatever, it's run first and third. Davenport winning last year, Overton in 2021. As we have nine in the books, green so far. As they, it'll be several more laps before they pick up the tail end of the field right now as they come out of turn four. All cars still on the racetrack, 27 of them started. Bobby Pierce up to fourth now as he's gotten around. Hughes and we got one turned around. Max Blair at turn number two. Mike Marler, last night's winner at Ponderosa to the hot pit. In the 157, he was third at Atomic. Davenport has been in control, unchallenged so far. Marler coming back out of the back straightaway. O'Neill and Overton, side by side for second. Hughes. And Pierce out of turn four at the Racing for Heroes restart zone and it turned one. Overton, good one there for him. And he'll power out at turn number two and Overton will take second. He'll track down, down the back straight away. Jonathan Davenport at turn number three. Venture you still married to that top. Here comes Rice behind him at the line. It's still Davenport. He's led the first 11 laps. Now O'Neill's going to work the outside. Out at turn number two, now Overton. As Davenport brings it from the bottom to the top into turn number three. Now down to the bottom. O'Neill work to the top, out of four, at the line. The top three all together there. Davenport over to O'Neill. Oh, man. Over to O'Neill, almost touch out of turn number two, down the back straight away, and Dandy Brewing at Florence. As they work lap number 12, out at turn number four, O'Neill for the lead at the line. New race leader is Hudson O'Neill at cut number one. Hudson O'Neill out in front. In the Ralph Latham Memorial, and here comes Overton on the bottom of Davenport and Brandon Overton to go to second. So in one lap, Davenport has gone from first to third with 14 scored.
Here comes Ricky Thornton Jr. Donovan Abbott for third. Ricky Thornton Jr. runs in fourth. Hughes is fifth. Pierce is sixth. Rice is seventh. Owens is eighth. Hedgecock is ninth. Devin Moran runs tenth. And now Thornton gets around Davenport. Jonathan Davenport last year was virtually unbeatable. And right now he's gone from first to fourth here in the first 15 laps of this race. O'Neill continues to lead. There's Overton about two car lengths back. Brandon go to the bottom. Now they try to go side by side out of turn number two. Overton gets a great run down the back straight away, but that momentum up top for O'Neill. Davenport for Spencer Hughes right in there in fifth. Out of turn four. Here they come. Ricky Thornton Jr. digging hard on the bottom on Davenport. Terrific battle up front at Florence. For $50,000 at Davenport trying to work back around. Thornton backs out of it. Thornton goes to the top shelf. Thornton trying to follow the one car. As did that. What, that's what happened to O'Neill. Went to that top now. Thornton back down low. Meanwhile, Brandon Overton. He's going down there. It's about car length and a half of the turn number three. As they work lap number 19, they'll have 20 in the turn number one. There now Bobby Pierce and Jonathan Davenport continues to slide down the lineup right there. And we got a car, I believe somebody slowing in turn number two up top as they go down the back straightaway. And the Gorsuch performance caution is out. Wow. Adam Stricker goes to the Heartbeat Hot Sauce pit area. And uh, and Chris Ferguson as well. And I believe, yes, the 11 of Josh Rice. So two different leaders here in the first 19 laps. And that's an O'Neill with the lead out of turn number four at the Racing for Heroes restart zone. And it's Ricky Thornton Jr. Great restart. In a turn number two, Thornton for the lead up top. Here comes over to down low. Bobby Pierce working the top at 32. Here comes Pierce at 32. Out at turn four. 20 in the books at Florence. Out at turn two, Bobby Pierce. First time he's raced here, I believe, in that long horse. They go to turn number three. Work at the bottom. Here comes over to the Thornton. Pierce right behind him as O'Neill still leads in the Rocket House car. Oh, baby. This is the Florence we know and love as they go down the back straightaway. Hudson O'Neill. Thornton has a run into turn number three. Ricky Thornton Jr. want a run into three. He's got the top working down the straightaway for the lead. Oh, man. Thornton into one. And Ricky Thornton Jr. takes the lead. What a move. What a lap by RTJ for the lead. Ricky Thornton Jr. Third different race leader down the main straightaway in the Todd and Vicky Burns 20 RT. That's it, O'Neill second side by side battle for third. Pierce on the outside. He and Brandon over to the Bobby Pierce are going to third. Davenport runs in fifth. Hughes is sixth. Henscock, Garrett Alberson, Dalton Wilson, Jimmy Owens, tenth at Florence. Keith Thornton Jr. And we got a spin in turn two. And the Gorsuch performance caution is out. And it's Tyler Herb in car number one. Wow, one shy of the halfway mark. Lap 23, Bobby Pierce to the hot pit at 32. Your third place car to the heartbeat, hot sauce, hot pit. And it looks like all four tires are up, Michael Despain. Tyler Urban as well at car number one. 24 laps complete. O'Neill is second, Overton is third. Here they come on the Racing for Heroes restart zone. Power move by Thornton the last. Oh, and three wide almost there. And Thornton up against the one. Brandon over takes the lead. Are you serious? Halfway. Coming up. It's been a dandy. The first 25 laps at the line. Who's it going to be at the line? Thornton still leads. 
25 in the books. Oh, baby. Florence at its best. Attitude down the next right away. Where did Garrett Alberson come from? Garrett Alberson started in 19. He's bidding for a top five on Davenport. McCready on the move. Oh, we know what McCready can do here from the back. How about Garrett Alberson? He's battling with Jonathan Davenport. That is for fourth place. Ricky Thornton Jr. High, wide, and handsome out of four over to the second. Third is O'Neill. Alberson and Davenport are side by side for fifth. Down the back straight away. Please stay green. Because here they come out of four. O'Neill on the outside at the line. Oh, and Doverton shuts the door. Brandon over to shut the door. On O'Neill. Garrett Alberson has moved to fourth. Garrett Alberson has a good hot rod at 58. That black diamond rolling the bottom. Here they come out of turn four. It is still Ricky Thornton Jr. McCready trying to move up through there. He won the second B main. Down the back straight away. Ricky Thornton Jr. to the right now. The lead is one second. O'Neill still at top. Josh King has got a fantastic racetrack here tonight. Out of two. O'Neill's going to have the momentum. Here comes O'Neill down the back straight away. Will he do the crossover? Oh, he's going to stay to the outside. Ricky Thornton Jr. still out in front. Down the main straightaway. 19 laps to go. 31 in the books. O'Neill working the outside. He'll get around Overton. Overton's trying to battle back. Great race for a second between the top two and the points. Brandon Overton and Hudson O'Neill. And they have in their sights the 20 RT. 18 to go. A beauty at. Hey, just next week we're getting Falsy. We're getting Florency here tonight, y'all. As they go into three. Right now, they have closed on Thornton down the main straightaway. Here comes O'Neill. Here comes Overton. They're side by side for a second. Ricky Thornton Jr. Please stay green. 17 to go. Thornton, O'Neill, Overton, Galberson is gaining on him. He's fourth down the straightaway. Overton back to second. In the one. They can run anywhere on this racetrack tonight. They head down the back straightaway. O'Neill and Overton to go side to side again in the three. Garrett Alberson pedaling hard trying to make up time. Here comes Alberson at 58. He's about to catch the top three down the straightaway. The top four in a turn one. Ricky Thornton Jr., 15 left to go. And we got a melee in four, and the caution is out. Oh, man. The Gorsuch performance caution out. Wow. How about it, Flores Speedway? What a race. What a race. 15 laps to go. Thornton, O'Neill, Overton, Davenport, Alberson. Back underway at the Racing for Heroes restart zone at Florence Speedway. Over to goes to the bottom. O'Neill to the middle. Out of turn number two down the next right away. Now Garrett Alberson's going to have to get his momentum back on the top side. Here comes McCready at 39 and Hedgecock at 23. Out at turn four. 14 to go at Florence in the Lucas Oil Late Modern Earth Series. I'm just shaking my head. Down the back straight away. 13 to go. We're going to double box it. We might as well triple box it. Here comes over to the bottom at 76. Please stay for me. Please. Down the back straight away. Overton, O'Neill, Alberson. Here comes Garrett Alberson. Garrett Alberson is right there. We got four or five cars that can win this race. Down the straightaway, 12 to go. Oh, Thornton trying to keep it out of the wall. O'Neill trying to get that momentum. It takes him a few laps to get that top back working. Here he goes into three. O'Neill's got to run. Here comes Garrett Alberson on the bottom. Out at turn four. Second spot, still a car length ahead of O'Neill is Brandon Overton. But O'Neill's getting wound up. We saw what he did at Eldora a few weeks ago. 
before he cut a tire and got in the wall. He goes, oh, and over to Seth the door. They almost touched. Great clean race so far between those two. Well, those three or four, five, six, seven. Ten laps to go. Here comes O'Neill. Down the back straightaway. He'll clear over it again. Alberson's going to go to the top. Here comes Garrett Alberson in 58. O'Neill to second. And Hudson O'Neill goes back to second in cut number one. Nine to go. 41 in the books. So any cautions from here on out, it'll be a single file. Garrett Alberson through the slider on Overton. Garrett Alberson will go to the other side with Sadi at third. Overton got it back. What a sight to see Garrett Alberson. He is a race car driver, isn't he? As he goes into turn number three, battling with three of the best in the country here in 2023. The top four in the turn number one are all together. Seven laps to go. Down the back straightaway, as I mentioned. O'Neill, it takes him about four or five laps. Ricky Thornton Jr. still out in front in the SSI Motorsports Longhorn Clements. In the one, seven to go. O'Neill down the back straight away. Thornton keeping a good pace. Right now, it's nine tenths of a second. Out at turn four. Six to go. Left five to go next time. Brandon over to Garrett Alberson. And O'Neill got to the wall. O'Neill, he misstepped in two against the berm. Over to goes back to second. Out at turn number four. Chief starter, Petey Alcom, five to go. O'Neill trying to get it wound back up again. Down the straightaway, right on the back deck lid of the 76. O'Neill goes to the bottom, and O'Neill goes back to second. Now here comes Overton. What you can do, I can do better. Overton back to second. There's four to go coming up. Three laps to go. Thornton's getting away. Ricky Thornton Jr. getting away. Down the back straight away. He is really open up a lead over two seconds. Out at turn four. Two to go for RTJ. After an 84-day laid off, he led the points headed to Atomic. Right now he's third. Trying to regain it. Trying to go three wide for second. Oh, baby. O'Neal over to Alberson. Thornton is gone. But second spot, who's it going to be? White flag, one to go. Here they go into one. Can you imagine if this was the last race of the year and they're battling for that championship? Thornton now. Got to be careful through traffic as they come out of turn four. Ricky Thornton Jr. gets it down here to another Florence. Who's going to finish second? O'Neal. Third is Overton. Fourth is Alberson. Fifth is McCready. He can hear you. Give him a big round of applause. Ricky Thornton Jr., winner of the Ralph Latham Memorial here at Florence Speedway. As the confetti flies, we'll get him around here. Down here with the kiddos. Young man, congratulations. Great job. Look like your race car. You were just kind of riding there maybe the first few laps. But after the second restart, about four or five laps in there right there, looks like the tires kind of fired there. And uh, it looked like your race car just kept getting better and better. Tell us about your night. Yeah, it definitely was. I uh, I gotta I gotta apologize, to Garrett Smith. He uh, the lap before he went high into three, so I just kind of made it to the middle, and then he turned in and I kind of flowered him there. So uh, I definitely almost left for a wheel, but uh, no, I just I thought it was gonna be around the bottom longer than it was, and I uh, I, I got to third there, and then HUD mugged off top, so I knew I had to move up, and uh, just really worked out for us. Uh, these guys have been working their tails off. I've knocked the right rear off it, I think, every night tonight or this week. So uh, just overall excited. Third win of the season with the Lucas Oil at Monitor Series. Uh, you lost a little points lead Monday, on, uh, excuse me, on Thursday night. But uh, this got to be a little bit of redemption. You had a top five last night at Ponderosa. And to put it in victory lane tonight, uh, got to feel good. Yeah, it definitely does. I told my guys today that uh, my goal is to come out and win tonight. I uh, I feel like I've gotten really close here and they're just not really sealed the deal. So uh, I was screwing up a bunch there in three and four and more. I was waiting for HUD to slide me, but... 
Uh, it worked out for us. I got to thank uh, Hoker Trucking, Big River Steel, uh, Certified Inspection, High Performance Lubricants, Bill Stein Shocks, Wild Drive Shaft, uh, Dino One, uh, Jayco Burroughs, uh, DJ, my wife, Darla, uh, Meredith, and, and them are all here. So all the fans for coming out and everybody that stopped by the Feral Trail. Race fans, let me hear you one more time. Congratulations to Ricky Thornton, Jr., winner of the 2023 Ralph Latham Memorial here at Florence Speedway.